<gasps> we could have some welding in this episode, how exciting. Hey everyone, last time we sandblasted the car to get rid of that rust and we also exposed some problems. So this week, we're gonna fabricate something out of metal. I mean, it must be easy, right? You just cut some metal and you stick it on with other metal. I don't know, I've never done this before, but let's get into it and see what we can do. So we've got an issue in that what we found was one of the points that the suspension is connected at the back, the bolt is sheared off. Martin wants to look at this now uh, because it could become an issue later on or because you're going to fabricate over it? Yep, I've got a blank plate. Ah, I'm sure it's okay now because we're going to fabricate over it and it would only become more of a pain if uh, we do it after. It's this bit here. So in here, there's meant to be something on the end of this, but there isn't. And it almost looks like it wouldn't take a lot for that to just fall out. Don't look at the drips. This is good. The wheel's not about to fall off. I've only seen air files on YouTube, so this is, uh, this is new to me. We need to like cut it back a little bit so that we, when we're clamping the two parts together around that, it doesn't get wedged in and then we have this problem as well. So we're just trying to cut that back a little bit. I'm not sure if it's going to make it move or not, but we've got a Dremel, we've got an air file, so we can go in here. It's just about the right size if we're careful not to do any damage to the surrounding area, but and cut this back. Also, maybe that we see some, some sparks. And is it just pull it up? Pull it up. Oh. This noise will be intermittent throughout the rest of the episode. That's what happens. But you know. Well, oh, that sounds cool. Martin, I'm gonna have a go. I might take a tiny bit away just to make it look like I've done something. <laughs> you can't take this away from me, Martin. <laughs> On these cars, the, the issue is the water, well, you can see how bad this is. Water gets in to this area of the car. And when it's really bad, and we're lucky that this isn't really bad, water gets into in here and fills up and starts corroding this part that you can see, but also this, which is the bit that we saw inside the car where the seats are and everything. Once that starts getting corroded, the job to fix it is an absolute nightmare. You basically have to cut out everything that's bad and you have to brace the car in a position whereby it's going to stay square and you, because it will begin to flex once you cut this out. So you then, you, so you brace the car, you cut out all the bad, you then put new metal in and try to, to fabricate it in such a way that it all marries up nicely. And that's why once the inner sill goes, you're talking about well, what I heard was like a 10,000 pound job on a car that maybe isn't even worth more than 10,000 pounds to get it fixed. The lucky situation we have here is the inner sill and this bit in between the sills, there's no corrosion at all. This is solid in here all the way along. This part, there's a bit of corrosion down here, but again, it's not extending to the inside, so we can just replace that. And then the outer sill, which is that visual body element that's down here, we were able to buy those for a few hundred pounds that we'll then put on over the top. So the structural parts of the car that you need uh, for it to be sound, they're good on this car, so we're okay. So we're talking about a job that if you went, if it wasn't for Martin coming and helping me, it would still be a few thousand pounds to fix this uh, rather than 10,000 pounds. But because I am helping Martin, but... <laughs> Yes. Mainly Martin is doing this. We're saving a lot of money on the, the repairs that are needed here. And then the idea is once you get this all put back together, as, as Martin has told me, there's grommets on the inside panel. So these, these bungs, you pull those out and you pour a special kind of like wax into this void so that the water can, even if it gets in there, can never actually get to the metal. So there's a whole additional job once you've even done all of that uh, with putting this wax in but you don't do that before 
you spray paint it because putting that kind of uh, wax or something into the car, um, even if it's like, you know, forms like a, a layer uh, elsewhere in the car, it's definitely going to be the kind of thing that pushes the paint away. So there's a whole procedure of operations that we need to do, um, all of which that I wasn't even aware of, which is why, you know, Martin's so uh, adamant about fixing this part is because you kind of had to repair it from the inside out uh, knowing that potentially you're never going to go back because the car will rust from the inside out as well. It, you, you know, to get this rust out here that you see here, it's the issues of what's behind that, that are the problem. So you have to fix it from the inside out as well. So we need to sort this issue. But when we get to the other side, we won't have that issue, but we'll find other things as well. But we're obviously not going to cover all of this in YouTube episodes if it's, you know, doing this bit again on the other side, we're not going to cover that because you're already going to have seen it. So it's a lot of work just trying to unravel the history of the car, uh, what other people might have done to it, and make sure that for what we want to do going forward, it's structurally sound. Because we're going to put a lot of weight into this car. I know we weighed it in a very scientific way, very sound, um, and found that it's well under a ton, you know, maybe 850 kilograms. But the batteries we're going to put into this car weigh like a huge amount. So in the, the Taycan, that's a 2.2 ton car. I think the batteries weigh like one ton of that, maybe 1.2 tons of that. It's a huge amount. We won't be putting as much batteries into this as that has, but it still means that four or 500 kilograms is going to go into this car, which is just batteries. Um, so it will make it heavier a bit than it originally was. So we need the the basis of it to be strong and sound because the suspension is going to have to be uprated a bit. We probably would want to anyway. Uh, the weight distribution will try and keep the same as it was, but it'll be a bit different. But you want it to be sound because it's going to be a heavy car again. Um, so yeah, this is really, really important to get this bit right. Can you see there's a circle there? Yeah. yeah. Circle. I've got to put a circle in there. So the plate is going to be like that, like that, and then come across. What is the purpose of the circle? No idea, but it's there <laughs> for a reason. Um, I mean, it makes it, it sounds it makes it sound like it's much harder to make the piece of metal if you've got a car in a circle in it. Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, but I'd rather get it right. I oh. mean, you could just put a straight plate over there, but you know, that's got that circling for a reason. Whether it's lightweight, strength, you know, access. What about um, that? There's the slice that they've made there. Do we want to weld that shut? Because yes. there's a, yeah, yeah that'll be done. Yeah, do I get to have a go on the welding, Martin? Do I get you to? You will do, yes. This is thicker, Martin. This is definitely thicker. These are not the ones we're not using that we're in the car. Yeah, that's perfect. Yep. So we've got two of them. Brilliant, we, we can use that. That is perfect. It's, yeah, it's, it's about perfect. twice as thick, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot thicker. And that's what the sill is? Yeah, this is the, bat, this is the sills that were just sat in the car. Yeah, when you got it. When I got it, rather than the probably potentially better ones that I then bought, or the recommended yeah. ones that were bought, because this doesn't have the uh, the lip on either end, does it? Like the yeah, other one does. That's, that's very thick. So initially, at least get the the shape. Yeah. He says not being able to tell where he's going on this side. <laughs> Where is the ball? Where is the ball? Look at that. <laughs> that is massively too big. That don't matter because you can cut it down to fit in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is where you start making it. It's actually, actually, it's the wrong way around. <laughs> so Put right on. You're trying to have a circle. Yep. Like like around like this. Yep. So sometimes what I do is try and find something round, like uh, a draw around it, something that matches. It's all about how I cut this. If I cut this wrong, I'm going to be back, back in the bad books, guys. Give it a bit of... Probably want a bit more on that side, to be honest. I might make this again. <laughs> it is off quite a bit at the bottom. I don't think I'm up to an angle grinder yet. And how am I meant to repair a car without an angle grinder? 
<laughs> I asked him if I could have a go, and he just said no. <laughs> oh, I got, I got We didn't even rehearse that, but look at it. That is, that's like some kind of perfect template. He's too busy. <laughs> to take a call. What did you use as a template in the end? Well, funny story. Ah, oh, there it is. It's the right size. Exhaust it. Feeling pretty proud of myself. You think Martin will look up to me? You might see me as more of a man now. Ford Focus 1.6 petrol Z-Tech. Perfect. Perfect exhaust. Right, now you've got to make it in steel. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> oh. So yeah, Martin suggests we do it this way rather than the way up I was going to do it so that we have something easier when it comes to cutting the, oh. the hole, the focus exhaust <laughs> hole. Okay. And, uh, Sport again. the length of it, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. There we go. Then you can cut that. <laughs> Straight cool. I'll I might need to nick your goggles as well. Yeah. yeah, there's not much left on this one, is there? Oh, we'll get in there. It's not plugged in. <laughs> Where's that side of the line? We do. So only a sliver, but I can do that with a grinding disc. Yeah. I could do it with tin snips, but I don't know if I'd even cut through this. Yeah. Right. Grinding disc sounds cool. That's cool. This. Ah. I'd be careful, I can't drop this because if the top goes off, that goes off. That breaks off, it goes off like a torpedo. Good news. So loads of good progress here. Uh, this is the part we made earlier, uh, which we fabricated and then Martin cut down. It's been welded in. We'll prime over this so that it doesn't rust, but this is looking a lot better and stronger. But now we've got this whole area here. This uh, is not good. This we feel went across here and up here originally. So we've got a whole piece to fabricate that goes across here, but we want to also retain this curve here. So, is going to be complicated to make, so Martin's going to make that at home, but we're going to make the template for it now. This is one of our patch panels that's going to go somewhere like here, and then the sill goes down here. I mean, we're getting somewhere. We're running out of light, everyone, so we're going to wrap it up for today. Um, we've cut some more away down here to see what this patch panel is going to be. We have made a template. Uh, we even had to go at making something out of metal, but it's a bit too thin for what we want. So. So we've cut out around here. We're going to have to do a repair here. We've done extensive repairs here. And then we're going to fit a, a panel that we create here, but out of some slightly thicker gauge. We're all looking good around this area, but we are then going to cut out some of the area, particularly here as well, and reweld that. So that's a story for another day, but we'll get some primer on this and then we'll put it back in its garage and uh, we've done well. It's been really fun this week learning from Martin how to fabricate something and weld it to the car and yeah maybe I made it the wrong size and maybe he had to correct all my mistakes but it's the learning process and the taking part that counts. We want to hear your comments, do put them down below. If I don't know the answers and I probably won't, Martin probably does. And do like and subscribe, really thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Cruising.